Oh shit. Well guys, I made it home in time for my mother-in-law. I don't know, I just figured I needed to say that. All right, so this is the WTF juke, the what the fuck juke. Um, when this car got dropped off to us, it was basically stock. Uh, Corey, the owner, said I want 400 horsepower, no ifs, ands, or buts, so that's what we set out to do. It's been a, a long journey, it's been over a year and a half. Um, so let me tell you guys a little about that journey and what we ended up doing to the car. Uh, so initially, we were just going with a forged bottom end and a big old turbocharger. Um, about a month in, I said, Corey, wouldn't it be funny if the exhaust came out the fender? The exhaust now comes out the fender. Uh, so we, we had that happen. Uh, we put the forged bottom end in it. We got it all pretty much buttoned up and running within four months. Uh, brought it up, tuned it, and for some reason it was stuck at 330 horsepower. And we had had this happen before, but we just assumed it was a turbocharger issue. Uh, so we came back to the shop, ordered up an even bigger turbo, threw it on there, brought it back up to the dyno, tuned it again, couldn't get past 330 horsepower no matter what we did. Uh, which is when me, the tuner, and a couple of the people started going, hey, it's something with the head. The cam profile's gonna be wrong, the head's gotta be restrictive, it's something like that. Uh, so Corey got in contact with a gentleman who said he could make us a cam. We went ahead and we uh, sent the OEM cams out, uh, <laughs> dropped the head off the machine shop. Machine shop had their work done pretty much instantly. Um, six months later, we still didn't get our cams back. Corey got the factory cams back. They had never been touched. Sent them out to Crower out in uh, Washington State. Uh, they reground the cams to the exact spec that we wanted, spent several hours on the phone with them, sorting out the details and doing the maths behind that. Got the cams back, sent to the machine shop, had everything checked, threw it in the car, brought it down to start tuning it. We had a couple issues with uh, an intercooler leak. Um, then we ran out of fuel at 375 horsepower. We upgraded the low pressure pump, and that fixed that. Um, upgraded valve springs allowed us to rev out to 8,000 RPM, which is where the car is currently sitting. We kept tuning and on a Mustang dyno, which in this area is known to read extremely low, we did 362 wheel horsepower, which a direct translation of that to the dyno jet that we were using prior, which is exactly 16% off. Uh, we know that because the gentleman who tunes on the Mustang dyno has had his cars put on that exact dyno jet, so we know it's a 16% difference. Is 402 horsepower on that dyno jet, making this a 400 horsepower Nissan Juke. Um, so what do we have done to it? Well, we have a forged bottom end, we have a Kometic head gasket, we have fast religion spec cams, we have uh, upgraded valve springs, titanium retainers, we have a custom tubular turbo manifold, a tile 44 millimeter wastegate dumping out the hood, we have a three inch downpipe coming out the fender with a custom notch uh, right above the frame rail, not in the frame rail to get it out there. Um, we have upgraded brakes. So we have the 370Z Akabono brakes on there, four pistons in the front, two pistons in the back. We're running a water to air intercooler with a 10 gallon reserve tank in the back, two Bosch SVT Cobra water pumps powering the whole thing. A Big old heat exchanger in the front with two eight inch slim fans that are constantly pulling air through to make sure that that water stays cold. We are also running methanol injection by AEM uh, using M1 7030 mixed methanol. We have nitrous in the car, never used it. Nitrous bottle's never been opened. We didn't need it to get to the 400 horsepower. Um, if Corey wants to use that to help spool the turbo up, that is entirely up to him. Um, but we did not need the nitrous, so it's kind of just sitting there making it look pretty. Um, we are running a TurboSmart V-Port blow-off valve, one of the best blow-off valves that I've ever used. I've put them on several vehicles, highly suggest them. We are running a TurboSmart eBoost 2 boost controller, variable boost controller. It allows you to select two different boost levels. Also allows you shift uh, boost by gear selection as well, which we have it set up so that it increases boost but it is kind of a pain in the ass to use, so Corey will just use it uh, as is. Um, 
car did make it up to the drive strip a couple of times but i can't drive <laughs> and this thing has no traction uh so i haven't been able to get a good time out of it um it, it spins tire past the first 60 feet it is what it is um this is more of a roll race car it absolutely eats things alive on the highway uh this raced against the maserati quattroporte and absolutely walked away from it before it was even making the horsepower that it's making now uh so i can only imagine what it would do now but everything that we've done it's been a lot of fun it's been extremely tedious excited for Corey to get the car back so he can go down to new orleans and show people what's up with the mr 160 dt um, a lot of the r d that we've done on this car can be applied to your personal juke if you ever see fit um, or if you have a pulsar or a tita or even the centra um, you can thank Corey and don't thank me thank Corey for allowing me to use his car as a project and a test mule uh, to figure out cam profiles and valve spring upgrades and head flow and all of that stuff uh, so big thank you to Corey for letting me do that uh, huge shout out to Alex Woolwin up at Granite State Dino for tuning the car twice and squeezing us in at the last minute so thank you for that and a massive thank you to Jay Perry down at the Subaru shop for letting me rent your dyno and having letting me actually tune on the dyno uh, without you uh, there's not a lot of dyno shops that'll rent their dyno out like that and i appreciate that i took up probably 12 to 15 straight hours of dyno time um, and I, I gotta thank jay for that um, so make sure if you have a subaru out there you're watching a nissan channel but if you have a subaru out there uh, make sure you hit up jay for all of your tuning and parts needs the guy is excellent uh, so with that being said here's a burnout Hi, you made it through a whole video. I appreciate that. You should go check out our other videos. You should also go check out our website, thefastrelogion.com. We got like sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff.